So you're stopping to get napkins? I'm stopping to get napkins. And uh, maybe a, a flu shot. Yeah, you're going to be... You're gonna be using that celery and that uh, that carrot that you threw into the back. Celery is, is is God's gift. It's like floss after you eat all the wings. Mm -hmm. it's floss. Yep. I'm gonna sure. keep the sounds. You can say some bad things about me. Like you did with the Christmas video. Love sure. that. Just so you guys are aware, when we go out and we do shows and stuff, Mar Mario's six five, right? So it's he's a very imposing individual. He talks with his hands. He's very loud. See the looks that we get when we go to places. So we stopped at Kenyans to get napkins. Mario's gonna buy a small bag of chips. And they just stole like 400 napkins out of their napkin dispenser, like a savage. Personally, what I would have done is I just would have gone in and got some of those quick draw uh, tickets that you fill out. I just would have told me I had to use those. That's what I would have done. In any case, um, oh, he's coming back. Things are really good. Smash the subscribe button now! These are phenomenal. Look. I love these things. What a couldn't pass them by. Reese's dip pretzels. What did you call them? Reese's? Yeah. It's Reese's. Reese's? Yeah. Right, okay. Do you say Reese's PCs? Can you tell me what a PC is, please? It's Reese's pieces. Not Reese's pieces. It's Reese's pieces. Reese's. Reese's pieces. Right. No, Reese's. It's, it's two not E's. It's, there's no I in there. Listen, math pieces. <laughs> Listen, math. math you about teacher. to be in pieces on the outside. Bill's off season. <laughs> what was that? A napkin? You're a napkin in the back seat. It hit the paper, and you just—you're like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> The uh, post-game show was talking a lot about the old line, which I didn't think was too horrendous today. No. But by and large, it's one of the things they need to fix. Oh, yeah. Do you, are you, I mean, we talked about it weeks one through six. Man, they didn't address the wide receiver position. They got to address the wide receiver position. It's ridiculous, blah, 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 blah. They did. <clears throat> now, they got McKenzie. They got Foster. They got Jones. They got McLeod. Ray Mer I'm just telling you who they Ray have. I don't expect Ray to make the team. Actually. They drafted him, though. I know. I don't expect him to make the team. Oh, okay. You think that he'll get replaced? He's replaceable because yeah. of McKenzie? Yeah. So they would rather have McKenzie than McLeod? Yeah. Okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, I think you could say that they were in like a 2. Going into this offseason, their wide receiver core, what, do you, what would you rate it? Now? Six? Six? Now versus where we were at the beginning of the yes. season? Beginning of the season, we were like a four. We got a four? Yeah. We thought Calvin Benjamin got better. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're at a six now. I still just don't believe in the wide receiver group. You don't have a big body wide receiver. There's just so many needs, you know? Yeah. It's covered up by the fact that, you know, Allen's job is pretty simple right now. It covers up a lot of it. That's their six. The Bills have, um, <clears throat> they are, they can't mess it up, right? What do you mean? They can't mess this up. What, the draft? They have 10 picks, 90 million in cap space, and a young nucleus coming back. I think it's easier to mess it up. It's easier? Yeah, here's why. I'm listening. Okay. The reason that, I'm turning my cap around, that's how serious this is. The reason I think it's easier to mess it up, right, is because you got too many irons in the fire you'll be able to take, you can't take, you'll feel like you have the ability to take more calculated risks, right? So you're more likely to take more risks. You're not gonna be careful with the money. That's what I think. It's, you have a greater likelihood of screwing it up the more irons you put in the fire. So you're saying 
because this past year they didn't have any options. <clears throat> they couldn't screw up. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah. Well, they didn't have any money to spend, right? And no. they did what they did, and you know they freed up roster space near the end of the season, and they brought in some guys to take a look at them, and that worked out pretty well for them. But you know, you talk about adding ten draft picks and all this money, and don't forget that those draft picks are going to pull from that money. So however many draft picks you add, twelve, ten to twelve million. Yeah, is what they're they're. That's just this year, and that's that escalates. No, I know. You know, so year two and year three and year four and year five, those guys cost more and more money. They go into the draft with ten picks. I think they leave with six. Cool. In rounds one through five. I have six picks, one through five. Because I could see them realistically. Well, that's, that's only one pick less than they have right now. Because they have two fourths. Two what, they have one, two, three is their picks. They have two picks in round four. Two and so that's five. five. From the agent. Two and five. So that's, yeah. And so two and own, seven. Yeah. And they have their own six round pick. Okay. I could see them doing that. I could see them leaving with six picks. In total. In total. Wow. You think. The, Wow, I don't know about that. Well, I could see, I could see realistically them going. Listen, it, it, let's just say <clears throat> we're, we're we're doing this earlier than I want to, but let's just say it. Mm -hmm. They have the eleventh pick. Let's okay. just say I, I don't. After this episode, they could have the ninth. Could have the ten. I don't know. When we're filming this, let's say they have the eleventh pick. Or okay, who cares? Or forget it. Nine through eleven is what they're yeah. gonna have. I think r roughly. So they have the ninth, tenth, or eleventh pick. Um. They trade back in the first round because they know they can get their offensive guy. Someone's trying to desperately get a defensive player. Try to trade with the Bills because they, they're used to doing that. They've been they've made deals with multiple teams at this point. Okay, we're going to trade back. They acquire a second round pick. Okay. Okay. They trade both of their seconds for another first. And their their pick is going to be high in the second round. So yeah. It's going to be equally as coveted. Yes. Yes. So they could trade. They'll. Conceivably trade like a third and a seventh mm. for like a third, a sixth, and a seventh for a second. Right, but then you run into the problem, right? Where it'll cost more. I understand that. This team needs too many starters to be able to give up two starters because it's second round picks. They're starters. You're going to give up two starters for one. If you trade back and acquire an extra second round pick, they gave up. A lot multiple thirds and seconds this past year to get one starter. Yeah, but I don't know if you if you're prescribing to that theory again. You need bodies. Or you can get bodies. Well, he said that, that that they have the confidence they can coach guys up. Yeah, they really do. So if you say, hey, if I have this player, because the player is going to trump the scheme, unfortunately. Well, that's what they, that's going off the assumption that that's, they feel like they can coach players up. And based off the draft last year, that's what it looks like. They really feel like they get a talented guy that can teach them to do anything. They can coach whatever they need to. Realistically, they traded Mahomes. They traded Mahomes pick for Allen, Edmonds, and White. Think about it. Would you trade those three for Mahomes right now? I wouldn't. What? Would you trade those three players for Mahomes? You trade Allen, Edmonds, and White. White for Patrick Mahomes. I didn't say. I said, would you? I'm oh, asking no. you. Absolutely not. No, I wouldn't. But at the beginning of the year, you remember we made an episode on it and got crucified. Yeah. I can't believe that we could have had Patrick Mahomes. That's true. You're gonna hit those veggies? I'm gonna hit these veggies, son! I think it's really wrong that you ask for ranch instead of blue cheese. Shut up! You're gonna get me in trouble! It's blue cheese, I swear to God, it's blue cheese! Prove it! <laughs> Smell! <laughs> yeah, right! <laughs> <laughs> but getting back to what we were saying, we were talking about, you know, those three guys, I mean, if they're going to see bigger value down the line, which this coaching staff and organization seems to look forward. But hey, we could take Mahomes right now at 10. No, we're going to trade that, acquire another first-round pick because we like the quarterbacks next year better. Mm -hmm. And then 
And I, I say three for one, but that's not really. They, they got rid of a couple of second or third rounders, but they were right. players that haven't made an impact yet, I don't think. I'll have to go through the archives. Well, again, I'm a big proponent that they are just going to take as many players as possible and just hope they pan out. I don't even want to know what you were doing. You're just staring at me. Pretty much. The draft. The Bills are likely to trade down. Like, I'm not going to say that they're not likely oh, to trade down. No. But 100% likely. They they're targeting happen. offensive talent. And you guys will get tipped off a month beforehand in the free agency period. Because whoever they pick up, you think? If it's as deep a defensive class, like just say, for example, it's as deep a defensive class as we think it's going to be. Mm-hmm. And they think it's going to be. And they're like, hey, there's some ta- there's some talent here that we're going to need down the line because the defense is getting older. We're going to need these guys. If they target offensive players, a lot of offense, maybe especially the guards and tackles in the offseason, even though we don't like some of the options they have, they're hanging on to that pick and they're getting a defensive player, man. You think so? Insane. Right now, to say that, insane. But if they're free agency, they're spending money hand over fist. On the offense. On the offense. What does that tell you about this draft? And I see that a little bit differently. I think the other side of that coin is it may, if they're spending a lot of money on the offense, it makes it more likely that they're going to trade down because they'll trade down and still acquire a defensive player like they did with Trey White. They're going to trust themselves on the defensive side of the football. You know, and that's what they've done. They've trusted themselves on the defensive side of the football. Edmonds was the first player they really had to well, go get. defensive head coach that comes in. Well, that's what I mean. That system, that scheme is locked down tight. It is locked down tight. They know exactly what they want to do on the defensive side of the football. So trading back for a defensive player makes a lot of sense. It's going to make an interesting draft day because if the Bills do trade back, it they could be taking advantage. You could have the perspective that they're taking advantage of a very defensive heavy draft and moving back and still getting an offensive player while acquiring more picks. Or, you know, you can go and say, well, they traded back and got Trey White, so we're doing the same thing. They're not, they're not a worried about It's all that. about perspective. So you know? we've seen two consecutive drafts where they trade back and then trade up. Yeah. So yeah. they can do anything at this point. And I love the fact that they've made all these relationships with these other teams. It's so, such a valuable commodity to have communication with other franchises. You know what's crazy? Yeah. If they were thinking about trading up, we have that beautiful, uh, that beautiful topper's going to come back up again with Gettleman. Oh, with the Jets? They're dra- they're, the Giants. Well, the Giants. They're, they're drafting ahead of the Bills. <laughs> again. I don't think they're going to have to move up to get a tackle, though. Just saying, if there was a team that wanted to trade back now, because they have a high draft pick from last year, they might go up to it. And quarterbacks, you don't think the first few teams are going to have any quarterbacks that's gonna. That's always the variable, right? I mean, is moving teams moving to get quarterbacks? That's been the variable the last few years. Mm-hmm. That's always shaken things up. Is it's hard to predict where the draft's gonna go because you don't know where teams are gonna overpay for these quarterbacks. Like, I mean, Chicago, Jesus, for Mitchie Biscuits. It doesn't seem like insane, not does it? It's, I mean, I guess not. But they traded one spot. One. Pace, man. You're really telling me that San Francisco was holding it over their heads that they were going to draft Mitchie Biscuits? They could have. They didn't have Garoppolo by then. That's a tough sell, dude. I don't. You don't know what was said. Lynch is a freaking boss if that's the case. Like, I want, I want Mitchie Biscuits. You're going to have to buy them from me. How much are you paying me for Mitchie Biscuits? That's what, if that's the conversation. That had to be the conversation. We're going to take him.